After finishing 12 and 6 in the regular season and 1 and 2 in the section tournament last year, the Brainerd Warriors baseball team returns a very young team to take the reins this year. Clayton Cashel shows us Brainerd will look to improve people wrong behind its legendary head coach. Warrior Baseball is back in Brainerd as the team gears up for the 2017 grind. The team won its opening day game yesterday against Alexandria, a game that would notch coach Lowell Searcy his 700th win in a Warrior uniform and 738th overall, placing him second in all-time wins in Minnesota. You try to teach the kids what you can in practice, and, and then during a game, I just kind of stand and watch and try to stay out of the way. So um, I haven't won any games. The kids have won a lot of games here. Coach Searcy has been the head coach at Brainerd since 1973 and says there's really no secret to a long, illustrious career. His 2017 team are led by a group of seniors, six of whom signed national letters of intent today. Bryce Flanagan pitched yesterday and threw six innings of five-hit baseball. He says that before yesterday, no one knew what to expect from the young team. Well, at first we didn't expect much, but then after our first game yesterday, we showed a lot of potential and an under-radar team beating a high quality team I think in my opinion and that was a good win. Flanagan also says that he has high expectations for himself as the team captain. Well hopefully I get off to a better start than last year and then just stay hot the whole season and just help our teammates. While others in the conference may look down on this team, Coach Searcy believes that this team could show people wrong if they just follow his lead and high expectations. So consequently, the teams in our conference rate us fairly low because we don't have many returning guys. And uh, I always have high expectations for our team and um, hopefully we'll, we'll come closer to my expectations than everybody else's. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.